I was in Orlando, Florida, I was speaking to about 5,000 pastors. I was walking one morning and up up the street, it was a residential area, walks this 20-something gorgeous model-looking girl, you know, with hot pink shorts on, a t-shirt, and she gets real close to me. I realize she's gorgeous. And so, so she says, good morning. And I say, good morning. And as soon as she walked by, my head went right around, whipped around, mm -hmm. automatic. Okay, I took, I was praying and going over my verses incident. This is just like over a year and a half ago. And so this is like water to wine miracle stuff to me. And so I have all these thoughts. Pretty soon I'm really involved with her. Don't even know her. Then I'm in bed with her. In you know, your mind. In my mind. Imagination, okay? So I get real convicted, but I'm comforting myself at the same time. I'm saying, God, why do I, why do I still do this? I mean, I mean, I'm 65. Am I going to do this when I'm 75, 85? I mean, does it ever end? And so anyway, um, I, I, I said, God, ooh, then I remembered. Jesus said, out of my heart flows my thoughts. I have a belief that's bringing that thought. I took another hundred steps and I realized I am a hedonist. Mm -hmm. And that's just the opposite. And I, and, I, and I confessed it to God. And I said, God, what scripture verse or section can I memorize to, to, to like re-stamp my heart over with a new belief, your word. Mm -hmm. And so I got back to my room. I, I, I looked up Galatians 5. It's all about the flesh and the spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I got to verse 13 and it says this, Smalley, you've been called to freedom, but don't use your freedom that you get from the vine. Mm -hmm. Don't use your freedom that Christ gives you for sexual uh, immorality, mm -hmm. sexual sin. Mm -hmm. Uh, a fleshly sin. Use your freedom now to love people by serving them, mm -hmm. which is really the essence of safety because love is safety. And that's mm -hmm. such a countercultural message. I know. And so then what mm -hmm. I did was every day for two weeks, I, I, I went over this first all day long, all day long, all day long, day and night, day and night, day. Two weeks. I was in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, not far from here. And, and, uh, and, and I was in the jacuzzi with uh, one of my grandchildren and into the room walked two Barbie dolls with strings on. And as oh. they started walking towards the jacuzzi, first thought that came to my mind is, I wonder if they know how much God loves them. Hmm. And then my second thought was, when they were growing up, I wonder if their daddy really loved them like they should have been loved. And then I thought, if they're married, is their husband loving them? And I had tears in my eyes and I thought, whoa, I have never <laughs> had thoughts like this. New I heart. Went, wow. Now this was over a year and a half ago. For what, a year and a half, mm. I have had zero mm. lustful Amazing. thoughts of exactly. using yeah. a woman in my mind mm -hmm. for sex. The key wow. was agreeing with God. I agree, not only agreed with God, but I got His Word mm -hmm. in my heart. And then you're placing And, and you got His heart for, for women, you know. And exactly. I, that women are not you're some precious, sort of objects. Mm -hmm. or precious like, creations of God. Wow. And God has designed you to be loved by someone mm -hmm. And why would I want to use you in my brain? But that all came out of my beliefs. So I could actually say today, uh, hi, I'm Gary Smalley. I'm a recovering hedonist. So it's you know, you, you say, I'm sorry. No, no, I just ahead. want to say, you say in the second promise, yes. you say to be filled by with, with, God. With God. And so Jesus someone, is divine. someone's watching saying, yeah, okay, yeah. I want to be filled right. with God. I right. want to have that power that you've got in exactly. you now. Right. How do I do that? Well, see, what I do is I cry out every day for God to fill me because I'm connected to the vine, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so, like, for example, we could say Ephesians uh, 3, 16 through 20. Every day I go through that verse. Mm -hmm. It says, God may you grant me through your riches and glory to be filled up with uh, 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 strength with power in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. May I know your love, be grounded and, and, and rooted in your love that you may fill me up to all the fullness of yourself. And then what I do is I, I this actually is, is, is all from him. He gives me the power to do this, but I know that he is going to be my love today, tomorrow, for the rest of my life. And so I don't try to use my own love. I wait to catch myself loving someone with his love. And Gary, see, this is really profound because I've met a lot of my girlfriends in marriages that are disappointed. Uh, their expectations aren't being met. Right. They're, not, they're not being honored or giving honor. Exactly. Yeah. Marriage has been disappointment. Like in your book, it says the post-traumatic, or not post-traumatic, the yeah, post-rapture yeah, exactly. state of infatuation. Exactly. Right, right, and right. so marriage has been disappointment. Yeah. You know, even at the conference, I met a girl who said, 
I have a husband and four kids, but I pray for me for contentment. Yeah. And so when you say yeah. these things, that's yeah. powerful because you're saying, mm -hmm. as I'm understanding it, that when you believe God and His Word is true, yes. He changes your heart, yes. and these things then flow naturally. And, and you can, because I think that's hard because there are a lot of disappointments in marriage. Yeah, because there we turn our mate, we turn our husband yeah. into, yeah. into the vine. I did, I did we try to plug that, in there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. when, you, when you say these things, like that really is mm -hmm. touching me because it's yeah. like, yeah. you know, before I kind of say, Pete, do this, or you're yeah. not that, yeah. Yeah, right, you're yeah. saying, you say yeah. to God, yeah. you know, change my belief and my heart, yes. make this a learning, yes. and then yeah. I can then yeah. give safety mm -hmm. to Pete instead of nagging yeah. him. He right? says, if you abide in me, plug into my vine, me the vine, and my words abide in you, live in you, and I see there in our heart. Mm -hmm. You can ask for whatever you want, and he'll give it. Mm -hmm. Is that powerful or what? And I, I do want That's to say, I, either, yeah. I, I, I have this on my heart to say because I want to encourage single women out there because as a single woman, mm -hmm. I think I can now see the gift of being single in the yes. sense that God has had to be that for me. Exactly. Like I didn't have a choice, you mm -hmm. know, and that is what he's been for me. But it's mm -hmm. been so freeing. I'm yeah. free now in that sense where I don't need a man to fulfill yes. that kind of, exp you know, right. to affirm me, to mm -hmm. say yeah. this. You yeah. know, I, exactly. I, I'm not getting my strength from a man yes. or a relationship. Exactly. I mean, I look forward to having that yeah, relationship yeah, yeah, one day, yeah, but yeah. I, I'm uh -huh. just saying that uh -huh. I, I want to encourage single people out there that, you know, it's not yeah. about just marriage. It's about yes. that significant relationship right. with and the you vine. you would be such a precious wife. You know why? <laughs> because you're learning that now. Yeah. And I've had so to learn it the hard way, but it's been such that, a good lesson. You wouldn't be it's plugged good. into him. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. say, well, I want I want my happiness yeah. from you. Yeah. yeah. There's a little gem in Proverbs. It's only found in the NIV. Huh. And mm. for task-oriented men, I think it's very revelational. Yes. Proverbs 16, 22 says, what a man desires is unfailing love. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. And what you say in your book is you love them simply yeah. because yeah. they need it. They need it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That, that is entirely exactly. biblical. That's true. Mm -hmm. They need it. We'll use his love, God's love, to do that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because so, we're know, not adequate. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Smalley, I love how transparent yeah. you've been with us here today mm -hmm. because really we're all on this journey together. None of us have arrived. Mm -hmm. We are all have in common the fact that we have got to come to the foot of the cross of Jesus every single day and yeah. say, I need you. I need to replug into your branch again today, Almighty God, because without you, I can do nothing right. of eternal value. I mean, we can do stuff, but really, it's just dust in the wind. It just evaporates. But with God as our source, we can do anything. You can get through anything. Whatever you're living through right now, you're saying, I don't know if I can make it one more day, Anne. Yes, you can. If you plug into Him, you'll be amazed at what happens inside of you and, and how He starts to change you. And then those around you will observe that change and they'll desire that as well. Dr. Gary Smalley, thank you so much for being with us. Well, thank you. We this is so great. This. You're I, the I best could, show I, and hey, tell. I tell you what, we, we, yeah. you. I, 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 I wish we could be here all day. Yeah. I know. We would, we would love it. Well, if you want to know more information about what he is up to, you can visit his website at www.garysmalley.com and you can find out everything that he's up to, the newest book that is coming out. Yeah. And, and they can download the, the first chapter free. Because right. this one comes out in January and they could pre-order it. But this is the whole thing. Uh, this is chapter four out of this book here. And so what's the name is, of this book? This is Change Your Heart, Change Your Life. All right. Yeah. And so, so thank you, Dr. Smalley. There's a lot of resources there for you at his website. Our website, too, at Crossroads.ca.